Moving over to John. John, you initially fought a, a rear guard action, and, but then went on the attack. There was several incidents. Just, just talk us through, first of all, when you were um, dicing with Harry going into Beckett's there, just how they looked from the cockpit from your point of view. It was sort of, it had to be one or the other really, but we had to go in side by side. I had momentum after Harry to get past the GT car in the in cops, so yeah, I started hanging around the outside. Uh, a move which I've done before in single seater, so I knew it was possible, and yeah, I just had to uh, hold the breath a little bit. But we we got around and we came out the other side, and it gave us the advantage to go on the attack against TDS. The operative were a bit attack. It was a great battle with Tristan. You you, you hunted him down, and then made a move at entry, going on to the, the back straight there. Again, just talk us through how you how you saw that through your eyes. Well, again, again, <coughs> getting past a, a GT car coming into it. He had a really bad exit coming out, a lot of wheel spin as well, and like good traction, so a little bit of tyre left. So, uh, yeah, there was a, a small gap, it was either lift or go alongside, so I went, got halfway down the inside, he left a little bit of room, but not quite enough, I hit the inside curve and we just glanced him on the way out, but I think his tyres were that far gone, but any sort of contact, it was going to send him into a bit of a spin, so it was unfortunate, um, but I think it was just a bit of a racing incident at the end of the day. Harry, um, sensational and tumultuous last stint. I mean, you were you were hunting down both the TDS guides and um, and the Greaves um, car driven by John Lancaster. Just talk us through those charges and the the wheel to wheel bodywork bodywork action with with John there at Beckett's. Yeah, um, I mean Simon did a fantastic stint, and the way I mean he was holding off uh, Tristan um, for the last sort of four or five laps was incredible, and that meant that I came out you know, just behind. Uh, just behind the um, the Greaves car, but I knew that the um, the TDS car was double stinting, so um, I was able to attack early on. But I knew um, I knew from, from the information coming through that we were catching uh, Tristan as well. So I was sort of trying to pick my moment if I could, but at the same time, in the back of my mind, just just think about um, the end of the race and, and going for the win, and not just dicing for, for P2 and, and let Tristan get away. So um, yeah, we were. Catching Tristan pretty fast, I managed to make a nice move um, around the outside of John in the second part of uh, the new complex. And um, but it was yeah, it was a bit yeah, it was a it was a it was a interesting interesting stint. And when I spun was uh, yeah basically the GT car going into. Stow was slightly slower than I expected it to be. I already lifted off quite a bit, but um, at the apex, just sort of parked in the inside, which meant that John got the run on me. And um, yeah, going into the next corner, I ended up spinning, but I think that was that was fairly fair. But um, certainly, there was, you know, coming out of turn one, I was already uh, going around the outside and just got forced straight off the track um, when I was already alongside. So that wasn't um, overly great and then I just had to refocus uh, I knew there wasn't many laps left but you know I, I was super fast so I was just trying to hunt down the two leaders and um, yeah coming out of the new complex I saw Tristan go one way and John go another way and um, so I managed to pick up P2 and couldn't quite get uh, P1 in the end but I think booze on the podium sort of sum up the feeling. Moving over to Tristan, Tristan so close um, Going into the last few laps of the race with a distinct possibility of victory, and then the the incident that John described. Let's hear it from from your point of view with those last few last few laps. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I've, I've got to ask you the question first. Maybe we can talk about my opinions later. But um, it, it it looked like there was um, there was contact there at Aintree as you go onto the back straight. Um, but, but from the cockpit, just, just tell us how it felt for you, Tristan. Well, from my side it was uh, pretty simple. Uh, it's just a place where it's just impossible to overtake. No? Okay. I think. So, I'm, I think in the same uh, spirit of, uh, of Tikna, uh, it's an interesting move. Interesting move. If uh, we have the same uh, spirit uh, during the Le Mans race, I think uh, we can have a, a big, big trouble and uh, be injured and uh, drivers on the walls. So uh, it's, uh, it's, it's 
not the spirit of the adherence. It's not my spirit. Uh, from my point of view, I, I was uh, I was young, like him, uh, a few years ago. I won uh, the Formula Three. I won Macau. I did uh, pole positions, uh, jump car. So I think I can drive quite fast. Uh, and never I did that. If you are a good driver, you don't have to do that. You don't need to do that. So um, it's it's shame for him. Uh, 